Alright guys, I made um, another interesting cell. I think I'm going to call this one the jelly cell. Uh, what I used was petroleum jelly. I picked this container up for about a dollar. Um, but it's 100% pure petroleum jelly. What's great about petroleum jelly is that it doesn't corrode, it doesn't oxidize. It actually protects the metals very well and it contains no water. So it's actually a very great thing to use so, for protecting metals. Um, what I did is I put it into this um, aluminum foil that I turned into a cup shape. And I sprinkled some salt substitute from Morton and Epsom salt into or on top of the petroleum jelly. Then I heated it. And the great thing about petroleum jelly is that it has a very low melting point. So it melted and kind of sort of uh, absorbed the um, crystals or the salts uh, into its watery state. It wasn't in a watery state, I was getting like 3 milliamps, 4 milliamps, but that was uh, high heat. But I'm not getting that anymore. But I am getting something even in this dry um, petroleum it's, it, when it, dry, when it um, cools down it becomes petroleum jelly again it's not liquid petroleum jelly anymore um, but I'll we'll show you the um, voltage that's magnesium this is copper in this hand right there and if we um, use about half a volt I mean not half a volt uh, we get 1.5 volts roughly nothing special but it, getting voltage petroleum jelly which is supposed to be non-conductive um, but yeah as you can see remove it no voltage touch it voltage so yeah and I guess some of y'all want to see the amps too so we put in micro amps alright and we're going to touch that um, petroleum jelly goodness crystal mix and you can see about 40 microamps, roughly. Nothing special. What I did find interesting was that if I touch the aluminum foil, I get a little bit higher. So if I touch the aluminum foil, what you can see, well, it was getting higher last time, but no, I guess it's not doing it now. Whatever. Okay. But if I touch it there, oh, I see what's going on. The little guy's trying to get away from me. Okay, here we go. All right, whatever. It's very gooey. I don't know if I can see that, but it's, it's gooey, almost. Oh, it's just very gooey. It's oily based. But yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Voltage. Um, let's see. I want get you, I want y'all to see this material. So the good thing is, is that the petroleum jelly should help protect the magnesium. The problem is, is that, as you can see, it doesn't hold, I need like a bigger slab of magnesium to push onto it, but you can see it's just a salty mix of petroleum jelly that I heated and added the uh, salt substitute and Epsom salt to it. But yeah. Simple as that. I'm calling this the jelly cell. But yeah. Alright.